this week's video for Mallory in the Making. I am going to be starting a new segment of Mallory in the Making and we're going to stick with the In the Making title. So this is going to be called Meals in the Making. Now this is going to be specifically for Lean and Greens that I meal prep for the week. Typically I meal prep on Sundays. And so this video will come out on Thursdays. That way it gives you time to decide if that's something you wanna make for the week, go to the grocery store, and then meal prep whenever you meal prep. This week, the first week, is all about crock pot meals. So I'll be making two recipes for you a week, most of the time. This week's two meals are spiced crock pot beef roast and also chicken taco soup. Like I said, both done in the crock pot. Super simple, something you can put together and then leave while you're on your way to work on Monday. If you do it on Sunday while you go to church, it's completely up to you. But let's get started. So let's first talk about the ingredients and things needed for our spiced crock pot beef roast. First, you're going to need a two and a half pound raw boneless beef chuck, which I got mine from HEB. It was only $8.03, no big deal. Three cups of diced celery. Three cups of trimmed and washed green beans. I was lazy this week and just got mine from H-E-B, but you can definitely get the green beans, trim them, wash them yourself. But this was only like $2, I think, for this, and it's actually four cups, you only need three cups, so it was great. One tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, four teaspoons of balsamic vinegar, two teaspoons of dry ground mustard, two cloves of garlic minced, which is approximately one teaspoon of minced garlic. You'll also need two tablespoons of water. So first I'm gonna trim the fat off of this uh, roast. It's mostly just back here. This would cook down in the crock pot anyway, but it's nice to just get it off in the beginning. And try and get as least of the actual roast that I've just cut a big chunk off of, try to keep as much of that on there as you can and just really get to the edge of the fat. I'm then gonna make a rub with the minced garlic and the black pepper that I'm gonna rub all over the roast, but I'm first gonna put it into this bowl and kind of make it its own rub before I do that. Like I said, I'm then gonna rub it all over the roast. Kind of give it a little marinade. You wanna make sure you can cover as much as you actually can. And make sure you get the back too. Don't forget about the back. And the sides. rubbed down the roast with the minced garlic and the pepper, I'm gonna put a couple small slits in the top of it, and then I'm going to place it into the crock pot. Let's just make sure that it cooks all the way through. And just put it randomly across the roast. And then like I said, into the crock pot we go. It's okay if it kind of overlaps. There'll be lots of juices in here in just a second. In a separate bowl, you're going to put two tablespoons of water, one tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, four teaspoons of balsamic vinegar, whoa, two teaspoons of dry ground mustard. Now I'm having to use a half a teaspoon because my teaspoon doesn't fit in here. So I'm gonna put four half teaspoons, obviously. I'm gonna give it a good stir. I don't like to get a lot of things dirty, so you'll see that I reuse a lot of things no need for a spoon when you got a measuring spoon that works just fine. I'm then gonna pour this over my meat. Don't worry if it's not completely evenly poured. Like I said, it's going to have a lot of juices as it cooks. And then I'm gonna cover this. I'm then gonna cook it on low for eight hours. You could also do high 
for four to five hours, but I'm just gonna stick it on low for eight hours because that's about the time that we eat dinner at night. It's also gonna be tenderest. And like Robbie says, it'll also be the tenderest. I'm also gonna add in green beans and celery 30 minutes to an hour before it's done. So this is just gonna go in the refrigerator covered until then. So for this chicken taco recipe, we are going to be using two cups of low sodium chicken broth, one cup of no salt added rotel with green chilies, one teaspoon of reduced sodium taco seasoning mix. I get the one from H-E-B, it's actually really good. I know that McCormick has one that's less sodium, but I couldn't find it, so H-E-B definitely works. A half a teaspoon of cumin, a fourth a teaspoon of chili powder, one clove of garlic minced, which is half a teaspoon, 11 ounces of raw chicken breast, which will typically yield about nine ounces cooked. I'm using two small chicken breasts for this. And two cups of cabbage. Robert abhors cabbage, he hates cabbage, so we're using shredded lettuce. You can use either one, they're both gonna be the same when it comes to your lean and green measurements. And then at the end, to garnish, you're gonna use two ounces of 2% Mexican cheese. Again, I use H-E-B, super good, can't taste the difference. This recipe actually calls for Kraft, but it's the same thing, just a different brand. You're also going to need two cups of water. And that's about it for the ingredients for this recipe. The best part about this recipe is you're going to put all of it in at one time except for the cheese and then just let it cook for six to eight hours on low or three to four hours on high. Again, I'm gonna cook ours on low. I kinda like the way it cooks more evenly that way, I think. And like Robbie says, it makes it more tender. And then after it's cooked for six to eight hours or three to four hours, depending on how you would like to do it, you just shred the chicken, put it into bowls, and then you just add the cheese. And that is the end of that recipe. to go ahead and meal prep this entire thing. It will be good for the entire week. One thing I wanted to mention was both of these are going to count as one lean, three greens, and three condiments. With this chicken soup, you will need a healthy fat. With the beef roast, you will not. So, happy meal prepping, everyone. Oh, oh.